Why is it that bad things happen to otherwise such good people? Why is it that there are some who walk among us that have to know a greater hardship and struggle than others can possibly imagine? Being born blind, I am truly blessed. I am blessed to have had the opportunity to have completed 18 marathons. I am blessed to have had the opportunity to have completed a full Ironman competition. <laughs> and I have been blessed to have been elected by voters across the great state of Michigan to serve them on our state's highest court. The body is mortal, but the soul is all-powerful. There are moments that transcend. I remember awakening at Mount Sinai Hospital in the trauma unit in tremendous pain with an unknown future, with an uncertain path. And I remember coming to realize that other than the choice that we as humans make as it pertains to the power that exists between forces of good versus evil, that everything else that happens in our life has been inscribed, has been set forth, has been etched in the great book of life. But the one great power that we as humans have is how do we choose to react to the lives that have been chosen and have ultimately been given to each and every one of us. Adversity, hardship, and challenge gives rise to pain, purpose, but most importantly, connection. An easy life does not always correspond to a good one. Athletics is a tremendous metaphor of life. It represents all phases, all elements. It represents life at its core and life at its essence. Imagine, if you would, the feeling you have as you dive into a frigid body of water. The water temperature that morning of Lake Coeur d'Alene as the starter pistol sounded was 55 degrees. Imagine the feeling you would have to be swimming but having no idea where you started, no idea where you're going, no idea where you are. Imagine not being able to communicate with your guide, trying to surface but you can't because there's other swimmers immediately above you. Imagine how it feels to be getting kicked in the face, but not being able to brace for it because you can't see the ensuing impact. Imagine how it feels to have the rope that connects you to your guide become entangled and ensnared with other swimmers. The more you attempt to struggle, the more constrictive the rope becomes. As the rope becomes constrictive, it takes you below the surface. You try to keep your head above the waves, but it becomes unbelievably difficult. You realize at certain moments in your life that through the pain and through the struggle, you tend to always have what you need when you need it. You don't have anything more but you'll never have anything less. Why do bad things happen to otherwise such good people? It was a beautiful day in New York Central Park. I was walking in the pedestrian lane, preparing for my 18th marathon. And as I walked, a bicyclist was traveling at a speed of an excess of 35 miles per hour. And in doing so, he lost control. 
veered into the pedestrian lane where he struck me directly in the back. The injury was catastrophic. It required over 10 months of hospitalization at Mount Sinai. It's those simple things you start to miss. Like having the chance to go to the bathroom or take a shower or sit up in bed. People would come to visit. I would ask them, what are you going to do next? And they would tell me things. I'm going to go to the dry cleaner. I'm going to go shopping. I'm going to go out for dinner. I'd always ask them, are you going to savor that? Are you going to enjoy that? Are you going to embrace that? Life teaches us, challenge teaches us to celebrate the small victories, to celebrate the small things, to celebrate the idea that you can finally sit up in bed, celebrate the idea that you can use a walker. Celebrate the idea that you can make it to the boundary of your room. It's the most painful journeys that involve the highest amount of work. It's the most painful beginnings that lead to the most triumphant of finishes. A year ago, it was time for the New York City Marathon. This would be Marathon 18, but the first after a catastrophic injury. It wouldn't be a fast marathon. There'd be no PRs that were going to be broken. But it would be a marathon nonetheless. As we ran through the streets of New York, we made it to mile 18 and crossed the 59th Street Bridge and started up, fifth, started up First Avenue. The pain became so severe. The doctor said that would happen. They said doing a marathon on a crushed hip and shattered pelvis would be difficult, to say the least. But it was at that moment and at that time that you reach for the heavens and you ask for that power to simply get through without passing out. You ask for that ability to finish without losing consciousness. The body is mortal, but the soul is all-powerful. It's at that moment, it's at that time that you come to find your peace. Peace with your new life. Peace with your new circumstance. But most importantly, I was able to find my peace with my Creator. Why do bad things happen to otherwise such good people? And why do some have to know a greater struggle than others can possibly imagine? It is through struggle and hardship that it's often been said that we will do what is hard to achieve what is great. For we gather here to celebrate the idea of life. We gather here to celebrate the idea that at a certain time and a certain point in life, you simply have to come to the realization that you can't focus your time and your energy and your effort into trying to get over it. You just have to get on with it. Let us celebrate life for all its good and for all its bad, for all its joy and for all its hardship. Let us celebrate life the way we would celebrate a great novel. We must always experience the chapters of hope and joy, but we can only find those chapters through pain, struggle, and difficulty. For it is through the chapters of hardship and challenge that we will come to find hope, joy, but most importantly, triumph. 
Let, it, let us celebrate life. Life at its essence and life at its core. Let us celebrate the idea that extraordinary things can, will, and must happen for us all. But let us celebrate the idea that the body is mortal, but the soul, the soul is all powerful. Oh, <laughs>